Look at you, you fancy black and white. Been a long time. What, five years? Never thought we'd end up here as kids, huh? Where were you last night? With some friends. Where were you last night between 10 and 11 p.m.? With some friends. Come on, Bobby. I know you were just following orders and that you really don't want to take her. I have no idea what you're talking about. Tell me where you were last night when Captain Bradley's daughter was abducted from her own home. Brown hair, blue eyes, 38 pounds, three and a half feet tall. Natalie. And if you tell me the bullshit excuse one more time, I'll keep asking until you tell me the truth. All right, fine. I didn't want to say, but I was at Cabrini's Soup Kitchen on New York. It makes me feel good to help the less fortunate. There is a little girl missing. And each time you sit here and lie to my face, her chances of survival diminish. I don't know where she is. You have to have some idea. See, we have you on surveillance outside the house. So where is she? Where'd you bring Natalie? Why did Savino tell you to take her? What does he want? What, Bradley not cooperate with what? <laughs> Bradley's certainly not as cooperative as your father was. Well, this isn't about me. It's about a little girl, okay? Who is afraid. She's alone. I got the, uh, the letter you wrote me after my uncle passed. I always loved your uncle, you know that? Come on, Bobby. Just tell me, tell me, and I won't disclose your name. You I don't promise. understand, Meg. I don't know where she is. Half the children abducted or killed, flat, okay? And only 10% survive after day one. This is day two. All I know is what I'm told to do. I don't know where they brought her. I don't know why they took her. And to be honest, I don't want to know why. I don't ask questions. All I know was what I was supposed to do, to drop her off at Hamilton Park at 1130. Who'd you give her to? Martinelli. Who? Who'd you give her to? Martinelli. They told me they weren't gonna hurt her. You believe that? 